Alrighty, so I traveled out of my area and was able to find another of the Land of the Sweets candles. And this is London, which is tea and biscuits. We will start with the performance. This one was the hardest one to pull out for me. And as you can see, there's still a little wax over there that hasn't pulled out. But for the most part, let me kind of zoom in so you can see it. This is third burn, and I still have a little wax there that didn't go. Um, I accidentally broke one of the wicks. I normally don't trim my Bath & Body Works wicks, but that one got broken really low, and so it's not burning as hot. That might be the reason for that um, little wax there left. Um, I normally burn this for about an hour, but this time I had to go two hours to try to get it to pull out. Up until that point, it was tunneling, so um, I did end up burning it for a couple hours today. Around a couple hours. It's not quite two hours yet. So, we're on our third burn. The notes on this candle, um, I will have to insert them a little bit later. Now, let me bring this out here. Uh, the London one, got to show these. It's, blue, it's a light blue wax, and it keeps a light blue foggy color. I find the color very attractive. I've never been to London, but I feel like these pictures are a Candyland version of what London, I think that must be the London Bridge, of what London must look like. It looks like a place I'd like to visit. Do they have Big Ben on here? Oh yeah, there's Big Ben. That I've heard of. And we are back to the front here. And all in all, I really love the design on the Land of the Sweets candles. I do tend to like the destination candles. I tend to like the scents and the imagination that um, Bath & Body Works uses when they make the destination candles so um, this one is not an exception to that rule uh, now we'll get into the point that oh i didn't notice how good that wax pool is in two hours wow that's deep wow i don't usually like my wax pools to go that deep because you use up your candle too fast if you burn it fast like that so wow I'm thinking all kind of things, but I love the blue color. It's very um, festive. It's very childish. It's fun. It's the kind of thing that I would see on a playground or a place where children are, or even in a nursery school. And I'm 100% a child. I can be a child at any time. I have never released my childlike self. She's always there. She's always raring to go. Um, sometimes when I have babysat, I, I take the kids to the playground and um, I'm out there on the playground with an excuse with the kids playing. I uh, still I still do um, cartwheels and somersaults, y'all. My old behind. <laughs> so I never let go. I still like the candy aisle at all of the um, drugstores. I love the candy aisle. I love all the different candies that, and if there was an old fashioned candy store, I would like that too. So that's just me. Can't speak to anybody else. I have never grown up. And um, at this point, I've decided that it's not gonna happen. You know, I'm gonna be an adult with a childlike self for you know ever <laughs> and i'm okay with that and since you're watching this video you must be okay with that too if you watch my other videos you'll know what i mean um isn't this beautiful i think this is so gorgeous the color the fact that it has a grayish blue to it and that kind of reminds me of london is said to be a little bit um gray toned and everything i just think they nailed london and christmas and i feel like london has a really big association with christmas 
I watch a lot of old movies about London and even, uh, you know, some of the, you know, like Oliver's, I want some more little orphanage and stuff like that. Those kind of movies come on at Christmas time. And I feel like this candle nailed that ambiance and it's a way of giving somebody something Christmassy that you can really decorate a Candyland shop anytime you feel like it. So it's dual purpose there and that's good. Also, um, you know, you give people these candles for Christmas and obviously that means when they get them, Christmas is over. This is one that just looking at it, uh, you know, a person could continue on with if they chose. Now, onto the scent. The scent is titled as Tea and Biscuits. And I smell tea and biscuits. I smell lemon tea and shortbread cookies. That is what I smell distinctly. The shortbread cookie smell is delicious. This reminds me of a, uh, I'll go get it so I can show it to you in case, so that it'll give you a real good idea. This is a lemon buttercream uh, fake hand soap. And I got this a couple of years ago and it smells very much like this London tea and biscuits. I do smell a traditional tea scent, like a Lipton tea with some lemon in it. And then I smell um, shortbread cookies. It's delicious. It's fun. It is a great scent for London. You know, I am a tea drinker. I drink tea several times a day. I drink all types of teas. And um, I have had teas brought back for me from London. And I smell black tea in this candle. I do love tea candles. Um, so when I heard about this candle, I was very interested in it. And... Um, I enjoy the scent. I enjoy the scent of this London tea and biscuits candle. It is pleasant to me. It is nice. Um, it's festive. It's unique. It's fun. It it um, brings some things up that I think I'd like for people to. I'd like for more people to tap into their childlike self. And quit being so grown and serious and, you know, have the love of a child. Have the forgiveness of a child. These are all great Christmas points to bring up. Have the imagination of a child. Have the health of a child. Have the energy of a child. You know, these are all things I personally aspire to at all times. And this collection just taps into that motivation for me. So it's a big deal to me. Um, now, on to um, the thing that, um, my opinion. I may have said I love this scent. Um, I may have said that I smell the tea, and I smell the biscuits, and I smell the lemon. And these are things that, if you ever go to a high tea, these are scents that are easily there. I also, the biscuits could be scones, you know, they don't have to be cookies, but there is a definitely a bakery scent there and it's sweet, you know, which is why I say shortbread cookies. I enjoy it. Now, here's the takeaway. Here's the point. I've told all the great stuff. The throw on this is um, medium. It fills a regular size 10 by 10 bedroom. Like after I um, extinguish these wicks, I sit this candle in my bedroom, unlit with the wax um, pool already there. And this wax pool will keep my room smelling fragrant and beautiful for uh, uh, three or four hours after it's 
extinguished so you don't have to keep it lit but I smell a very faint scent in an open concept room so this is for an intimate space don't try to waste this on a large room I personally do not burn two candles at a time because um I can't handle all that responsibility I do good to get my 30 minutes with one candle I can't be worried about running around trying to burn multiple candles and stuff like that I know some people do that I would prefer to simply put this I, I, I do burn my candles by the fireplace but after I burn this by the fireplace I'll simply put it in my room after it's extinguished and then it becomes kind of a potpourri so I would suggest that if you live in an apartment or a smaller space this will be a great candle for you if you live in, if you're having your candles in a room a private room or something like that this will be a great candle for you if you live in a mansion I would suggest you find yourself some other candles or be prepared to buy bunches of this candle to scent your large room. But of course, if you live in a mansion, that should be no problem for you because I'm doing these reviews for candle day. This candle is going to be $9. And if you can afford your mansion, you can buy as many of these candles as you need. They are beautiful. The lid on this is just a, a nondescript white lid, but I'm okay because I found that I immediately remove my lids and rarely put them back on. So that's my opinion of this candle. It definitely takes me to a tea shop. I definitely smell like I, I definitely smell like I am in a tea house, having a high tea, enjoying myself. High tea is something I've done on multiple occasions I do enjoy it and I highly recommend it to anybody it is a wonderful experience in the daytime and um, this candle takes me there so I really like it and um, that is my review thank you very much want to just recap my one caveat is she's medium throw and not good for, she's not bold enough for my open concept where i really like to enjoy my candles okay so oh but it smells delicious to me it really does smell delicious to me i don't normally even like lemon candles this is the only lemon candle i like because i like shortbread cookies <laughs> okay so there it is or you know another thing this could smell like is girl scout cookies those lemon girl scout cookies that's the kind of lemon that's in here and i find it to be delicious and um you know it's a great great candle anyway jesus loves you and i love you with all the jesus and you be blessed beautiful